It all started with an orange bat. I want a ball, ball. Like was it Kelly, y'all? I said I want a ball, I want a ball. Like was it Kelly? Like was it Kelly? Yo, what up, YouTube? Day Dot here, D29, Don Quiz 29, here with a tattoo tutorial. Quick thing. My mic is real sensitive and it picks up a lot, so if you hear anything in the background, then don't worry about it. Also, I broke my keyboard. <laughs> so, if I have to do anything with my keyboard, then you'll see my uh, keyboard pop up right now until I get me a new one. There's a free editing program uh, software called Paint.net where the same end results that I get within this tutorial, you can get within paint.net, but the steps will be different. Photoshop isn't free. There is ways to get Photoshop free. If you know those ways, then more power to you. If you don't, paint.net is the next best thing you can use. Uh, you can follow along with me. I will explain the best that I can. I know what I'm doing, but explaining it while I'm doing it is a bit different. So bear with me. I will try to do this as best as I can. I'm going to break this up into two parts. The first part is going to be me showing the templates and just doing single tattoos. And then the next part would be me just doing a random sleeve. That way you can understand both parts of it. In the description of this video, there will be links to a folder of random tattoos about 300 400 plus random tattoos you can just scroll through it take whatever you like and um, apply what you see here and create your own tattoos uh, to my right I have three folders set up the first folder is full of templates uh, I have a skin tone uh, layer uh, depending on the character you're creating uh, the skin tone of him this will be definitely need it it will come in handy also have a uh, bluish tint overlay and a greenish tint overlay these two right here are the main colors that I use for tattoos I do not use black as you can see this is black I do not use black for my tattoos um, every tattoo that in the world that you see does not have just straight black for the ink there's some type of color tint to the ink uh, whether it be black blue green yellow whatever the case is whoever the person is the skin tone of the person and the color of the tattoo that they're trying to get it's not just black there's some type of color tint to it they definitely look better when you use a color tint so that's what i've been doing ever since for example this is brian black's left sleeve tattoo and this is the bluish color tint versus black and this is his right sleeve which is still the same bluish color tint versus black this one is one third of the dark carnival tattoo a misfit sleeve this is the greenish color tint I'm gonna click this just so you can see the difference. So it's the greenish color tint and versus black. So with that being said, uh, gonna get to the actual tattooing process. So I have a folder here of single tattoos. I'm gonna start with the bottom one, which is just a simple black and white uh, picture tattoo situation. So. I'm going to just walk you through what I would do in this situation. So, come over to the right, right click the layer, rasterize the layer. You can't do anything until you rasterize the layer. All the layers are locked at first in a smart object. So you have to rasterize it first. So what I would do in this situation is select color range and then come up here with the drop down menu, change this to shadows. Um, you want the background away so you're trying to get that white background try to get that as white as possible while the main piece is black so just for this example I'm gonna just keep it around here click the polygon to right click and I'm gonna layer via copy so as you can see now we have two separate layers 
you can delete this one this is the background you don't need that anymore now we have this this is what it looks like but obviously this isn't going to be the tattoo the tattoo isn't going to be white so in this situation i would double click the layer and i will go to color overlay and oh i already have the color set usually it'll be a random color in here so let's say it was black so you do color overlay pretty much you're picking the color that you want it to be for the tattoo what i would do is i will get the color drop tool i will mute this and i will get the color of the tattoo that i actually want so i'm gonna go down here to the layers i'm gonna click this i'm gonna color drop it come down here and I'm gonna copy the values for that color I'll go back to the layer that we were working on go back to the blended options go to color overlay and then paste in those values hit OK then OK now this tattoo is the color that we wanted show it black so you can see it and boom can save as a PNG and then go to the 2k website upload it put it on your car and then that's it okay next up is this layer um this one might be a little bit different i have to resize this so having a polygon tool selected i'm gonna right click i'm gonna click free transform then i'm just gonna resize this uh actually click this so it's all connected and i'm gonna resize this just a little bit that's that now I'm gonna come back over to the right. I'm gonna right click the layer, rasterize because it has to be rasterized first before we can do anything to it. I'm gonna use the eraser tool. I'm actually using the magic eraser tool. And I'm gonna click the background and we're gonna do that. Now, as you can see, it's still some pieces that didn't get all deleted. But that's fine for what we need to do next. So um our templates we need to go down here to the skin tone layer in this particular situation since it's color usually what i do with color tattoos is i always do a uh, outline of the skin tone so this is what i'm gonna do here so i'm gonna come over here to the skin tone i'm gonna right click i'm gonna rasterize this i'm gonna come back up here to the logo that we're actually working with i'm gonna come up here to blending options I'm going to change it to multiply. Now see it blends in with the skin tone. Hold control on your keyboard and then click this layer. Uh, I got to pop up my on screen keyboard to do it. Now you selected this. You're going to come back down here to the skin tone. You're going to go up here to select, modify, expand. You want to get an outline of what we have selected. So in this situation, I think 10 might be fine. I'm probably go like 12. So now we have an outline of this particular selection. I'm going to right click. I'm going to layer via copy. So I don't delete the actual background of the skin tone. I'm going to move this layer. And now we have this outline. Now, honestly, you might just be done. You're going to save this as a PNG. And this is what it's going to look like. When you put it in the game, you're going to put it on top of the wherever place you want to put it on your car. And you're going to put the transparency down. The best case scenario, the skin tone background that you're working with is going to match the car that you're putting the tattoo on. For example, the skin tone would be the same color as the face texture of the color that you're using so you will make sure that you always have the same skin and it will match up but you're gonna put the transparency down anyway so when you put the transparency down it's gonna blend so you should be fine but if you want to actually make it look a little bit better you go back to the original layer that we were working on hit images with image brightness and contrast click use legacy here you can play with the sliders and try to get it as vibrant as you can not too much 
right, so I'm gonna put that on 15. I'm gonna put that up. It really just all depends on personal preference, honestly. This is what it looked like before I did it. And this is what it looks like after I did it. You can also go to images, saturation, and play with this. If I come all the way down, take it out the color. If I go up, it's increasing the color. As well as you can actually just change the color of it. But regardless, you're done. Okay, our next layer is actually going to be this Captain America type of tattoo. So I'm going to come to the right, uh, rasterize the layer. I have to actually cut this out a little bit first. So with the polygon, lasso to I'm going to actually cut around this. I'm cutting around those little stars that's in the background because what I need to do I'm pretty much just going to do the same skin tone method that I did with the last one but if I do that it's going to have those stars with it and I don't want it with it uh, if you did then that's different but personally for me I just don't think it would look right in this situation after having that done uh, I'm going to just live via copy and I'm going to delete this bottom layer and now we have this. So uh, we'll come back down here, skin tone. Go back to our layer that we were working on. Click the blend in options. Change it to multiply. You know what? Hold on. Put that back to normal. I'm gonna get the magic wand to. Uh, that actually might work. I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna go to cut. All right, that's better, but I missed a piece down here. Okay, now we're fine. So, I'm gonna come back up here click multiply and now we're here we'll go back down here to the skin tone have to pop up my own screen keyboard I'm click control and then click the layer that we're working on to outline it while we still have the skin tone selected click select at the top of the screen expand 12 still should be good then I'm going to right click and layer via copy. And then now we have this. And like I said before, at this point you could be done. But if you want to actually tweak it a little bit more, go brighten this contrast, use legacy, and then you can tweak the sliders to make it pop a little bit more. It all depends on personal preference. And then you're done. This is the next layer. I'm gonna right click, rasterize. And pretty much I'm just gonna keep using the same method that we've been doing. Um, I think in this situation, I'm gonna do color range. It's pretty much just trial and error, whichever you think is gonna be the best. I think that actually should work. Hit cut. And yeah. And you can always double check it with like another layer just to see. So let's say you didn't want to do the skin tone method, right? So what you could do, control, select this, the layer that we're working on. Select, modify, contract. I'm gonna do like two. Right click, select inverse and then cut. So we're gonna cut like that little white pieces that were still around it. So now this is what we have. So if you didn't wanna do the uh, color, the skin tone method, where you know we do the outline and then we blend it in with it, then you can just essentially just have it like this and call it a day. 
and just save this as a PNG and then upload this to the game. You can also still go to images, brightness and contrast, and then still play with this to your liking. But I always feel like when you don't have the skin tone with it, and let's say you went up, I believe it's like too bright. So I don't think it would blend too well on the skin tone. So I like to actually take the saturation down if I'm not doing the skin tone method. So you could be done right here. But if you did want to do the skin tone method, again, bring that up. Hold control. Select the layer that we're working on. Come down to the skin tone. Select, expand, right click, layer via copy, and then mute the bottom layer. And then we're here. Go back to the layer that we were working on. Change the blending option to multiply. Go to image, adjustments, brightness, contrast, and then tweak the sliders again. And as you can see, with the skin tone, it actually looks better when you actually move the contrast up to make it more vibrant. So again, it all depends on personal preference. And this is the last one. Uh, right click, rasterize layer. I'm going to do select color range. I think that's going to take out everything. Okay, so that takes out everything. That can work, but the way it looks, it's like, eh, I wouldn't like that too much. And there's a situation where, um, too, even if it does have color, if you don't want the color, then you can just overlay it and change it to a color that you want. But even then, like, this could still work for somebody. Personally, I don't like it like this but I mean it could work like this but one thing I haven't done I haven't done this so I haven't done this with a solid color in the outline so if you wanted to you could do it like this but to be perfectly honest with you doing it this way really isn't necessary because if it's already super transparent and a solid color I don't believe that you need to um, do the skin tone method but I could just do it just to show you what it looks like this is what it would look like but again like I said I don't think you would need to but uh that would be it for that one so I said for the first part um the second part should be the last part and that would be me doing a random sleeve so uh Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped. I tried to do this the best that I could. Uh, like I said, I'm not used to teaching how to do something. So I'm D29, Don Crease 29, and I'm out.